fans of SourceFed Nerd got an unwelcome surprise because their beloved old channel was now taken over by now this. Was it the exact same thing that they were promising? I think not. Let's take a quick look at the announcement. Hi guys, my name is Michael Calibro and I want to talk to you a little bit about the future of this channel. It's been just over like five weeks since SourceFed Nerd stopped production and we're all saddened about the loss. I too was a big fan of the channel. It took a lot of time, talent, and hard work for SourceFed Nerd to build such a loyal and passionate following. But unfortunately, things change. While this wasn't our decision, I'd be lying if I said I wasn't honored by the opportunity to produce some great content for such an awesome, loyal community. Our ultimate goal is still the same as SourceFed Nerd. We want to give you insightful and entertaining videos on movies, games, comics, and everything else people like us care about. At the end of the day, I want this channel to do right by the community that SourceFed works so hard to bring together. Look. I know what a lot of you guys are thinking right now. I get it. And frankly, like I kind of feel awkward sitting here because I know all you guys are watching me like I'm Ramsey Bolton in Winterfell. I understand what you're feeling. I really do. But at the end of the day, we all love the same stuff. And we're going to work hard to deliver our unique take with content that informs you and entertains you. I know we can keep this community going strong. I want to thank you guys so much for listening to me and I hope you'll continue to watch what we put out every day. Hey guys, SourceFed Nerd is done forever, but we're real sad about it. But anyway, we're gonna continue to bastardize their legacy. Yeah, um, yeah, that's. I, I mean, you're right. You so, I don't know. It's not his fault. I don't think is. this is this that's, guy's fault. I think as a meta, as someone who hosts videos, smiling kind of vaguely and staring ahead and slapping your hands around is some one of the most disingenuous kinds of moves you could make. Like when people do this too. But like, hey, yeah, you yeah, mean subconscious vagina everything. hands? Yeah, people, I don't like this. But that's so off the topic. That's like that would be pertinent to us and us only. Right, I but guess. the thing is, like, it's the first thing that we all thought, and it's the first thing that people thought when they first saw the video. It and so it should be the first thing that the producer next to him. He is the producer. Well, there needs to be someone else in that room. If you <laughs> bought a channel, you should be able to finance. It. There's somebody who set up the camera. It's not a one man show, is what I'm saying. No, if someone no needs way. to look out for this guy, and that's not nice that he had to go through that. That said, this is a corporate takeover of a it channel is that was absolutely a corporate takeover. So you may remember. SourceFed and SourceFed Nerd were both shut down um, after Group Nine took over uh, the assets. Uh, Phil DeFranco has his channel still, thankfully. I think he's working hard to launch a new, um, I guess, media empire, as it were. And I think that will probably be successful because the thing is, Philip DeFranco and the host of SourceFed and SourceFed, SourceFed Nerd were able to cultivate um, something very unique and a love of a community, and, and a community. And if you just swap things, swap that all out and just make this disingenuous claim. By the way, they say, I'm a nerd, like three times in the video and nothing comes off as more phony, as inauthentic as that. It, yeah. it reads as so corporate and so mandated. I've been there. And no, I've been there too, because I host a, sh a show slash channel called Nerd Alert. And when I first started, people were like, oh, this Yeah, but bitch, it's a chunk reference. Who does she think she is? Olivia Munn, and it's just like, okay, yeah. I get it because of the race and gender. <laughs> um, but no, I was not afraid that. To say racist. No, it's it's absolutely. <laughs> we have a similar look, and yeah, that's that's where that's going to come from. And you have to fight so goddamn hard to um, to build a community, to be able to uh, relate to people and have people relate back to you. You don't just swap everything out, gut it, and then put someone else in Ugh. and expect nothing to have ever changed. You know, They're not gonna respond well. And of course they didn't. But isn't the, this the second, sorry, go ahead. The, the subscribers have been fleeing. Um, right now it seems like they've lost about 60,000 yeah. uh, since May the 4th. The subscribers have been fleeing SourceFed for a while. Well, okay, to be fair, SourceFed wasn't doing well. Yeah. However, they were doing way better than this. They had right. people who were loyal and dedicated, and they built a lot in their time. I mean, I think sometimes people expect uh, different shows, channels, uh, MCMs to like not like each other. But I have to point out, I know and like all of these people. Yeah. I am very close friends with uh, 
Trace Dominguez, who hosted uh, Seeker Daily. Before that, it was Test Tube, um, which has now also been taken over by the Now This brand and has also done fared incredibly poorly with the fans right. because they are, they're expecting something. And you can't just use talk about the same topics and assume that it's the same thing. It's not. Well, in my experience, Now This, AJ Plus, and attention have done a good job at identifying what makes videos viral on Facebook, mm -hmm. what made it in the in the wake of the autoplay feature. And that was essentially take an article, shorten it, put like the lead and a few time place settings lines with cool images or video up and just start playing it. And mm -hmm. people don't have to have the sound up and, the, and that work. And that has translated to a bunch of other discoveries that folks have made mm. in the course of time over that. But now this trying to expand, I get it. They're on the up and up. They're trying, to, they probably realize that it's more monetizable to have a dynamic ind individual talking to you um, face to face through the video. But, but this does seem like a very strange thing from the viewer's perspective, because you're seeing that now this has done what they did, which it seems very obvious, which is, all right, we can either start something from nothing or we can buy a We could a buy channel. a URL, we could buy a channel, all the subscribers, but people aren't stupid. They're going to see right through this. They're not going to like a corporate takeover, even if they like the content, I've been which in they that. don't. I've, I've been in those situations where you work with producers who are saying like, say nerd. Say geek. I just I sent some videos uh. over to a friend of mine <laughs> and I was like, I apologize for like this, hey guys, what's going on attitude? Because I, we'd been on set for like three hours and that was the notes I was getting and I broke down and was just like, all right, the next thing you're gonna see is this. Isn't it dope, guys? It's me, your millennial friend, Brett. Oh, and it kills. <laughs> it's it just, hard. It just absolutely kills. But people kills. can read it though. Like they know when something is authentic or versus when something is being put on. It's just very disrespectful of a massive amount of people in this case. An important thing to also add is that I take it you know, for what it's worth and people might not like to hear this, but you feel that it's true is when there's any change, there's a pushback. When there's, when these are my people, this is what I wanted, this is what I like, go time and time again through everything. Every innovation made by Facebook, when Facebook started the feed, Zuckerberg had to throw out like this intense page and a half, two page apology letter that was trying not to apologize, but rather say, no, 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 you're gonna like this, stick with us, this is what we're doing. But I would like to differentiate that dynamic from what's happening here. Because this is not just something changed and folks aren't happy about it, this is, a very valid frustration with a, with not like, oh, instead of being Discovery, because Discovery bought all the DeFranco stuff mm -hmm. and all the source fed stuff, and they kind of said, all right, you got money now. We're going to get you some editors. Keep going. This is a, all right, we bought you because whatever firing happened, everyone. everyone's gone. All now those source fed people thing. have moved on. I don't know exact. Some of them have moved on to the DeFranco project. Sure. Um, well, not, their careers aren't over, but this entity as it was, it's it's been completely bastardized to write off the Ramsey Bolton theme. That's the one part I think many people can agree is right, how people feel about this. I do, but I'm not mad at this guy. Like I'm, I I'm kind not, of am mad at this guy for really? not having more of, you know, if you're the producer, you have some kind of, uh, voice and ability to say, I don't want this to represent me. I don't want this to represent the brand. I think this is a bad way to go. You can say that. It looks like he just looks he like got a rook. Cowtoed into it. He looks like a rookie. He probably is. That's what it is. I'm not mad and that's why I'm not mad at him. He looks like a guy who maybe this is just me like projecting onto him certain times. Cuz you've been made to do certain things. I remember things. when Current TV launched like its new iteration of its website, I had to do the explainer video. Uh. And it was like, I don't even remember, but it was like, hey guys, this is what we got around this site. Now, if you look, it's pretty cool. But it's possible to it, reboot a channel and yes. not alienate an audience. I wanna point directly to TYT University slash Think Tank. Right, but that's different. That's the same people. But they didn't fire John. And well, no, that, that was that John. That would have been the move. No, I know, but if, they, if the Young Turks had fired John and put someone else in, that would have been the bad way to go. And if it's like that person quit and like if it was someone quitting and leaving mm -hmm. or 
It's like, what else are you gonna do? We'll just move on, to see? If I say quit, they shut something off. They won't <laughs> let us leave. Off. They won't let us go. <laughs> but if, uh, if they shut something down, uh-huh. they need to replace with someone new, then it's up to the folks hiring to make sure that they hire the right person who has a voice. Like I, and SourceFed, they brought in Candace Carrizales, who is just like a very delightful young lady. Mm-hmm. And, and there was an earnestness about her that you can kind of feel. But I don't know, that, that I mean, channels come and go. Yeah. And then it's, it felt similar to like when Al Jazeera brought, bought Current TV and then like, you know, it was a time it starting a new cable network, and it. But you bought like the the well, cadaver okay. of a dying I get what machine. You're saying is and it's it, hard to shift. It's hard to change something things to different ways. Yeah. Um, it's doable though. It's not impossible, and I strongly believe this was not the way to do it. Um, audience, were you one of the sixty thousand plus people who unsubscribed from SourceFed Nerd? Now, now this nerd. Please let us know your thoughts on this below, and please like and subscribe for more.